Hello everyone, I'm the Zola 2 and today I'm here to show you how to get the Death Brand set in Skyrim Dragonborn DLC. Now, first you want to go to Ravenrock and head into the temple that's straight up the stairs, you really can't miss it. Once inside, you go underneath and to the right, the first door on the right, inside here on a table to the left, you will find a book called Death Brand and this will start a quest. Now, first you will need an ancient Nordic pickaxe. If you don't already have one of them, they're super easy to get. You can actually get one in Raven Rock just by doing a two minute quest. I have a link below. I'm not going to include it in this video, but a link below if you don't have one so you can find out where to get one. But once you get this book, follow the quest marker and we will go and have to kill some pirates. Which is always fun. So here we are, we're in Raven Rock, and it's just up here, almost at the opposite end of the map. Now, it's much helpful if you've done this, it's much handier if you've done the, um, the main quest, so you can fast travel to these stones, which you take out during the main quest, so... If you don't, you can always look on the map and just walk there if you don't have any locations near this. But they're just across this little water bit. There is a couple of them, um, but they're super easy. I'm got insane damage anyway so they're no challenge to me but they've really not got any great gear on them so it shouldn't be very difficult. If you wonder what weapon I'm using, I believe it's called Blood Scal, I think it's called. So the pirate character is dead, you want to loot him for the Death Brand treasure map and that shows the locations. Now once you have that, you'll notice there's a chest right beside where I just killed the captain. Open that chest up and you will find the first piece of the Death Brand set. All pieces of the Death Brand armour are actually inside of chests. The weapons you will get, oh well, I'll show you how you get it anyway, but you'll see that near the end of the video, you get actually beside where you kill the captain. I believe he's a captain actually, I don't actually know if he's a captain, but he's a ghost dude anyway. So here's the first piece. Now what is pretty awesome about this armour is when wearing, I believe it's all four pieces, you get bonuses. And that's the same for the weapons. When you dual wield Blood Scythe and Soul Reaver, I believe it's called, you dual wield them, they both uh, put an enchantment on each other. So that's pretty sweet. So fast travel to this place I like to refer as Big Ass Mushroom House. I can't remember to tell Mithrin, I think it's called. Something like that. But just go where I'm going right now. I actually do get a bit lost here. But I end up getting attacked by um one of these dust guardians or something. I can't remember the name. These stupid fuckers and then we just kill them. Pretty easy. As you see I'm about to walk past it, but you don't want to do that. You need to head back the way. As it's right where I just killed them. And that'll be the second chest. I think actually they're all easy locks. They might not be. If you've got the skeleton key or the unbreakable pick lock, lock pick even, unbreakable lock pick um, one, you should be able to get these no problem. But this one is actually expert. And I did cut some of this out because <laughs> it took me quite a while unlocking these. I haven't locked quite anything in the pages. I'm used to, I think it's an oblivion, you get the spell, that you can that alteration spell, where you can actually just cast in and unlock stuff. That's just used to what I'm used to doing. But anyway, we will be heading to the, I think it's the earth statue? Or is it the water one? We'll see in a minute. right here anyway, but it's almost in a straight link from the earth though. Yeah, in a straight link from the earth. Which is right beside Raven Rock also, so you can just pause the video if you're getting lost. And for some reason there's always dead weavers around here, I have no idea why. But here is another chest, this is the third chest, the Death Brand Armour. The armour is actually just the... the uh, I have no idea how you pronounce it, but here goes the Sol Solsteam armor. Is that how you pronounce it? I have no idea. If someone can correct me in the comments, why not? 
I have, if anyone's been subscribed to me for any length of time, will know that I can't pronounce it. So, yeah. Now, in the pile of Minecrafts is the fourth chest, and once I've locked, picked locked this, I will show you the location. This one is actually guarded by the most enemies of all the chests. This one, um, well, at least when I went there, had all these mud crabs, including a couple of giant mud crabs. And I did get attacked by a dragon here too. So, yeah. Anyway, as you see, because that was the fourth chest, we got a key. And that key will actually activate a quest marker to go over here. Which is just beside Skull Village, so you can flash travel to Skull Village and just run down to it. There's a couple of enemies, I believe, guarding the entrance to this place. But again, they're super easy, you should have no trouble with them. But you definitely should not be doing that. I don't know why I did that. Decided to whirlwind, or whirlwind, whirlwind spin. I have no idea what it's called. Anyway, here is a Renver, Reaver, whatever they're called. We just got his face smashed in. And how we get his face smashed in. And inside we go. Now you'll notice this dead adventure, and if you actually read his book, he goes on about he got trapped in here, and it's because the um, the ore you have to actually mine through it using the ancient Nordic pickaxe. He only has a normal pickaxe, hence why he didn't manage it. So once you have mined that one, you go through, and there is a lot of gold in this room down there. There's like twenty thousand gold. So if you are in need of gold, I suggest you pick up this, since there is a ton of it. And I haven't opened the chests, but I imagine there'd be more gold or potions and whatever else in there. But once you run down here, you will get the weapons. Now, once you pick up the first weapon, I believe it's when you pick up the weapon, it's just up here, will actually activate the uh, the boss fight. So there's Bloodscathe, which you pick it up, he will spawn. There's the guy's corpse, which has nothing on him, and there's also a chest up here that just has, I believe, some sapphire gems, flawless stuff, well, emerald ring and stuff. Now, this guy I killed no problem, but if you don't actually kill him uh, in time, I believe he spawns some other NPCs to fight, but he's, he's pretty trivial. Just, just smash him. And once you search him, You will have the Soul Render. Now, sadly, they're just reused models. I was kind of bummed about that. But when you dual wield them, they are pretty, pretty powerful. And I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you're interested in how I have so much powerful armor, like if you want to make this armor really powerful, really overpowered, the same as how I make pretty much all my armor and weapons one shot, any one. You can click the link below, which will take you to someone else's video that I've discovered ages ago, and it's just an amazing video. Really well done video that shows you how to pretty much make overpowered weapons. But there they are. One's red, one's blue enchantment, because one does health, I believe, and the other one does magic. Um, but only when you have both equipped. So I hope this video helped you guys. Stay subscribed to me. I will be doing more videos soon. If you want to give me an idea on what videos you'd like to see, Skyrim or other games, feel free to leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.